Harry. Choice. I mean, Spectre seems. There is not a dish. Uh. Let's line up, but I have a trouble. I have trouble looking at those ores. I'm Are just drooling. Are they gonna find Swindles here? The Era. I'll stop with a crush and now Syndrome through the magic missile to try and line up the arrow from Yap Draw and they right, they right click Swindles down enough. And they might just drop here for us. Look at the window. They can see a great rotation up onto the high ground. And they kick things off with a bang. Enigma that much because he can still kill the camp pretty easily, but it's mostly just to, sh to shut down what Doom can do because now there's another big creep that Doom can't eat. I'm gonna go in with the chain stuns again. Magic missile into crush, and he's they've slowed oh him down God. a lot. Body blocking him up. There's the very far as well. Swindles. One more click from Tinder and will secure up that one. And Swindles having a rough time. Advantage that Beastmaster gets. Plus, if Beastmaster ever does get out of position, then Disruptor can glimpse him back. So, already level three in Disruptor plus the bonus damage from the aura. Well, it's looking great Swindles there. Swindles again. The crush. They've just got this chain stun down. Pat. He turns back with that infernal blade, but. It's pretty good here from No Digger. See if they turn and kill him off another time. And three to nothing. On the radius, Curry was like, where, where did that go? No, bottom lane. Thanks. Usually you have your soul ring by like two minutes, two and a half minutes as well. And he's sitting yeah. here with two clarity and 700 gold. You're right, they're going to go in after the Beastmaster. He's just going to get silenced and nuke down. And this should turn into a tier one as well with the Eidolons up. Freak. He's losing them very rapidly and this will lead into a nice advantage. Oh, Cinder and Hanskent is looking for the glimpse back. It's level two, but oh, it might nice. be the disruptor that's in trouble here. He stands his ground, the glimpse back. There we go. Beastmaster is returned to base, but Hanskent is trapped Hard with down. the arrow. All right, clicks come through from no diggity and a fairy fire. Keeps him alive a little longer. South through and the glimpse still drops as well, but yeah, sure. The South double. again. Chessy, not enough. Taken out of the game. That was a lot of expenditure and a few sneaky you want here from him. Is it initiation or raw damage output? I would definitely say initiation this game uh, because of a Enigma a world problem. Yeah, it's round Jesse, Drow Ranger. Again, the chain stuns are good from no Diggity to come in with the beam core though. But... Oh, TP from Syndra and Kezu still slides up the good back. Syndra trapped in place for limp, doesn't have damage to kill anyone off. And Hans can turn around onto the ball, slowing him slowly, but surely they'll kill him off. And the trade off. Kezu, uh, nice up forward, Syndra, he's gone for the magic missile. The space jet is not there. He's not there. there. Limp powered up and taken out. He didn't get himself back to safety. They will lose Syndra in here though. A two for two, but pretty perfect for no Diggity. Yes, and played that really was anticipating him getting ganked from an Observer Ward. There's a scan now from the Radiant team that's going to spot up Cinder in. They could kill Cinder very easy here. Yeah, it looks like they'll try it. anyway. Malefice up to level 2. I've got the nukes to kill off Cinder. Eh, I, I don't like the fact that Cinder walked there. I think he should have sat behind his tower because they knew that they smoked and they oh, didn't set up on the Shadow Fiend. Perfect wow. placement from the Absor straight across the river and into Hanskin. So that smoking to pick off. Full complexity, it's traded out 10 minutes in. That's going to be ages for what? You, you call it for Shadow Fiend? Yeah, I think so. Especially because he doesn't have time yet. So, ages for him. And now they can TP back and easily defend this tier 2. This is a great fight to Tindamek. It's going to be on Maron. Yep, so, yeah. So, I guess they don't quite feel ready to go. They're going to spot in. He walks into death. Oh, he's trying to start the fight anyway. The two might drop down here and be coiled up and Syndra. Starts down to go Yasuo joining in and cares who waiting for that roar. Fighting his time for the Doom and Point Bow will mean that no Diggity have no real way to continue this team fight and they'll lose the tier two. If they can make the assumption that they're smoking just because they're all together, it doesn't look like it because it looks like Air is going to get caught. Oh man. Uh, he definitely is. Air up. He can turn back and out for an output. He is a lost cause. Really good ward vision for complexity, right? Both lives on Shadow Fiend were gonna matter. Arrow, Arrow perfect oh, onto Limp. Can they jump forward and catch him out? The Midnight Force is down, there's too much point, but this is gonna be a little bit of a waste here. He pops the Aegis. It's gonna expire in about 40 seconds anyway. And try and go in again. Oh, Cross bad forward. Where yeah. is Era? There's the BKB from the SF. Red Moon wound up the new ball. Looks like the back is down. And Cook was gone. But the damage was collected. They need to right to protect K2. He heals up. The back is there. But they drop him anyway. I turn back in. But Deep Freak just walks himself out. One hit. He comes up here as a second to initiate. The Shrew dropping low as well. And Lim jumps himself out. It's a two for one so far. But Enigma very low. One more click in. But he TPs away. And no dignity. Continue the chase. Era. He's forward and he wants the puck, he wants the doom, he wants anything from this team fight. It's added extra value and Swindles will give them all they require. Yeah, if they didn't have Aegis there, there was no way that fight worked, especially because Aero blinked into the trees. Wait, Hanskin dead as well? Oh, he showed himself. Uh, he's got the glimpse. Here it is. Just back and quick, but... Oh dear. Really nice to by Hanskin. Just hide over there in this high jungle. 
because he knew there would be more chase for him. You don't really need him to have like a super ulti. How many times are we going to see this? Smoke into smoke. Yeah, the one that got tanked there by the roar in on to Jesse can do that. The solo stack is all about perfect arrow. And yeah, the all are clear up one. The two might come here and find the new ring. The black hole. Where is it? Where's the inning? We're ultimate. Not going to throw it out and they buy back. Bring the Drow Ranger into the game again. Era retreating out. The Frost Arrows will slow him, but no dignity. They are on full retreat. Will start the point. He can't back him himself from his lip. Jumps himself over to the side to find Era with the Yule Scepter. With complexity, the arrow again. Jesse, no, the staff attacks it. Jesse's still alive. They'll look for Coyne with the Rekku. Mark up to the middle. Now they keep turned on. It's like, but taken out with that all. Huck will find him. And no dignity. Too big for their boots in that one. Between Russian and the heroes. Kezu. Mm, has been seen here, Radiant Observer Force gives first vision across everyone. Alright, I see done by Complexity to control that. Oyster says, nope, not today. Dark Troll is gone and the Glyph expended. Slow this one down. Complexity will secure the tier 3 and they, they stick around. They go walking forward into this Drow Ranger and you've got the wraparound though. Hera and Kezu both sitting behind and blinking onto the lip. The puck is caught. Arrow gonna fly forward for the pack of the left side storm drop on here as well. But Coin Fun there's the wreck of Mad Lord and also put back on Pack of Round 2. Hera's down and Coin Fun standing through this one with his BKB out. He's gonna try and battle out and through it, but he's taken down. Jesse will secure the kill and he might have to buy back on this Shadow Fiend because Syndrome in no man's land. No dig at oh, the Glyph back the Beastmaster as well. They buy back the SF, they need to keep this fight going. But the Doom was held by Swindle. He finally gets it down to the slot on the wreck wall. Koikva, hold on a connect field. A leap out, but Jesse, he's got Aegis Immortal still held on to this one. And here has gone. Brown oh, Ranger will heal they can't do it, they can't catch it, they might get lift. Good face shift down, quick for another raise, but the clip's back will save complexity on the bailout. One was the only casualty swindle. They jump in again and lift just keeps on going. The gift that keeps on giving this plus six to a nine, looking for quick as well. And no dignity, they'll lose the shadow beam. Fly back into die back. Oh my god, they, they actually just died one by one. Now look at the network, it's completely one sided here. It oh. looks so good for Digitum, or for no, no Digitum, said so much. And it looked so good for them at the start of the fight because they killed the puck right away, but he just fought back, boots of traveled, and then the fight got hard. And now they're going to get a rack, and it looks like buybacks on every hero just about. So often we see buybacks used defensively. Now this is technically worse for no diggity. They're going to spot, though. Well, they're low ground. Pot of molt, and they have a sentry right on that spot. Thanks, dude. Has been killed. We'll try and see them coming through. No diggity. Again, the Roshan pits, and no diggity. Cannot contest this. That's Aegis and Chief. Good students in the third row shine corners. What do we get? Chessy. Oh, ticking back up to full HP in the tier 2 bit here. No diggity. They want to defend, they've got to do it soon. About getting into this fight sharpish. They look for the swap. They, they actually do. They could do the swap now. Or onto Chessy. I guess the Aegis is something you don't really want to go for. Clipping out uh, the Requiem there. So the Yaks will jump forward. Okay, he will swindle Requiem from the high ground, but let's get him out of sight. Shredded. Put the damage on the black hole. There he is again. He's dead. That's why that Melville Syndrome drops slowly but surely. Complexity dismantle. No digger. T. Coit. Red trap and a good face shift out from them. Keep him safe from the arrow. It's going fast, there's no dignity have left to give. Of course, there are no ultimates really here from Complexity, but it doesn't matter. The glimpse of Koi will send him back. Further initiate. Really going to try and clean up the scraps and push out the lanes. No ultimates is so difficult to fight this. I mean, I guess nobody in Complexity does either. Maybe they can get a good arrow. Darkstrom helps a lot. It's a good start. Oh, enough though, with Aegis still up on Jesse and Limp to just start the keys. And he's gonna use up. He might get it for free though. Start the deck, Coyster dropping low. Jesse is gonna pop. Oh, he's not dying. He's gone. There's the damage block. He finally goes to the Requiem. And the buyback and Coyster returns into the game. But no diggity. Uh, 5 versus 5 here. That great crush in from here. But the damage is just lacking. No diggity will armor themselves back up to full HP. But Coyster for the buyback. Into the frost arrow. And Jesse looks for Kato instead. They need one more barracks here. Uh, it's a good game. No diggity tap out. They did it, man. This is a super well executed drop threat. Like, they just played every team fight so efficiently. Every item they bought was efficient. They didn't say, oh, maybe if we don't go all in, maybe we'll just go semi all in. No, they went all completely all in with every item purchase. As much item efficiency as they could. They didn't aim for the late game. They didn't arm for, aim for the farming patterns. They just said, we're going to close this one out. And it all basically came down to a couple team fights that No Diggity needed to win better. And they weren't able to do so. And I just think they didn't quite coordinate in the fights that they needed.
needed to as well as they needed to. There was always like two heroes going in, but the other heroes weren't quite mm -hmm. set up for that. Uh, honestly, 